Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the build on this Rob Minibike. Um, I finally got the frame back from Powder Coat, and I must say it came out really nice. Um, my first time getting anything ever powder coated, and uh, you can see that nice metallic in there. So I went from the dark blue metallic to, I think it's called Blue Illusion Smurf. Um, I couldn't get the exact code or color code, but it was close enough for me, and I actually like this like brighter color. It looks more modern, in my opinion. Um, you can see the nice metallic flake in there. So this was a uh, powder coat with a clear over it. Um, I guess like for gloss black, there is no clear coat. It's just uh, like a two-stage powder coat process, but something I was learning, but I'm very happy with how it came out. Um, it was about just over $350 for the frame, the front fork, and the swing arm. Um, so that came out pretty nice. Got some clear in there as well. Um, masked off for the bearings and stuff like that. Uh, but it looks pretty good. So basically what he did is uh, he acid dipped it. So pretty easy to get all the old paint off. Um, and then it shows like some old imperfections I thought I'd show you like from welding in 1970. So I think that's pretty cool. Gonna leave that on the mini bike. I think it's got character. Looks pretty sweet. There's actually a problem I had. I did not take out the fork bushings. So when he chem dipped it, they melted away. I totally forgot to take them out. Um, so luckily on eBay, found a pair. I couldn't find any new ones, new reproductions. So had to buy another set, but chemical dipping is no joke. You got to make sure everything is removed and that's my own fault. But luckily I was able to find a set because I would have been in trouble without them. Um, so yeah, that's how they came out. Also got a box of goodies. I just want to start assembling some of this bike. Um, I don't have uh, the chrome back yet. That is taking longer than I thought because I wanted to start with the wheels um, and the spokes. But I'll have to start with the frame for now with bearings and stuff. But this is actually kind of fun because it looks cool, you know, playing with this new paint. I'm more excited for this. The chrome is definitely going to be more expensive than I thought. That's my own fault. I probably should have gotten it priced before I did it. And uh, maybe I should have powder coated it like a bright silver instead of chrome. But oh well. You live and you learn. So let's see what we got in here. This is from Black Widow Motorsports. Uh, newspapers, I guess. See. All right, so first package, Jeez. nice new chrome springs for the front, new bearings, looks pretty cool, sweet. What we got in here, and that is the rear shocks, sweet, so I'll have to open that up, but uh, basically this is going to be nice. New chrome, new shocks, and they're adjustable now too, so that's sweet. Here's the old ones, I just thought I'd get new ones just because I feel like this spring is just worn out. And I feel like when I used to ride it, even just last year, the spring is just so loose, it just bounces up and down. And I'm, I'm not even too heavy, and it just got like no resistance. So I thought I'd go new there. Um, so I'm just gonna throw these on eBay for anybody that needs to complete a build. I don't wanna just throw them out or anything like that. All right, so I got the full spread out. I got new rear shocks, new front springs, uh, bearings for everything, fuel petcock, tire rim strips, reflectors, um, roll pin for the jack shaft, I believe, and then new spokes. I was just testing this right now. Looks like they are all stainless steel, which I'm excited about because the other ones started to corrode, and these are so hard to keep clean, in my opinion, when they're chrome and steel, and you want corrosion in there, so that came out really nice. Um, if you need to get parts, Black Widow Motorsports, two-day shipping, which was very impressive. Um, I'm about, like, half the country over from where he shipped from. I think I'm in Minneapolis. I'm in the East Coast. So this all came very quick, all in stock. And they look really nice. I'm really excited for this. Um, you know, it's going to replace these old springs. I, I'm going to refurb all this myself. I just wanted to. I think some things are out of stock. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to clean them up. And then actually you can use some of this. Some 2K gla Clear Glamour. I'm going to redo the tank myself as well. Um, I just wanted to get this frame done professionally just because I didn't, in middle of winter, didn't have the time. Um, but good, good starting point. And then I can do all this as spring comes. Um, I just wanted to also talk about this. This is the last really remnant piece of the original paint I have from the bike. You know, you can compare that right to there. It's not exact, but you know what? It's right there. I think it came out really nice. I'm happy with it. It looks modern to me. So... I'm going to start assembling this. Uh, I guess I'll start with some bearings here and there, like the fork bearings, jack shaft, um, get the swing arm installed. I got new bolts coming in um, for pieces like this. 
you know, you put the new bolt right through there for the uh, swing arm. But I'm, I'm going to wire wheel this, acetone or whatever, and then clear it just to have some protection on it. Um, put it back into here, right in there, and then get it bolted up. All right, just alcohol these uh, fork bushings. Pushed rags through there, full of alcohol. Which cleans are going to be? Let's get these installed in here. Uh, I was going to... I don't need to loop them up probably until I get the actual forks in there. Let's see. It just goes in nice. All right, two hands, and I got them snapped in. No problem. I'm ready for the new forks. Sweet. All right, let's keep moving. Bearings pressed in, got them lubed up a little bit, but they're nice and tight, nice and new. It's much better than they used to be. Sweet. Some wheel bearing grease. Grab some in here. I don't need much. Just doing it to do it. Seem like a universal bearing. It's got like a little collar there. You can take that on or off, depending on what it's for. Let's get this hammer. <laughs> easier to do than a car bearing or ATV bearing that's for sure just pound them in pound them out but they're just easy to get to you just punch it out from the other side all right one side's in let's flip this yeah these were all bad on the bike jack shaft bearings I mean it was just wobbling in there it'll be much happier to go down the road I'm sure after these new bearings are installed probably feel a little new think of it. I feel like a new bike. I mean, I'm basically making it a new bike. Besides the engine, that's staying <clears throat> original. I'm just going to touch it up. Probably could use a little motor rebuild, but it doesn't smoke or burn oil, so I'm honestly not too concerned about that. You can always pop the motor out anytime just to work on that. Boom. Okay, the bearings are all in for what I can do for now. Wheels are still up in chrome. Um, that's the rest of the bearings I really have to install. So I'm going to start getting the front fork assembly installed and then the swing arm. So let's get to that. All right, so I got the front fork on. Um, new bolt, new nut and washers. It's nice and tight. It used to wobble up and down um, because this old bolt right here, the threads were all chewed up. It was riding on the threads there. So I wanted to go with the stronger bolt just in case that's not grade eight. So I did a grade nine um, and it should be nice and sturdy. I got some tape here covering the frame um, just because it's hitting itself. I don't want any chipping right now. Um, there's still dents in the frame. I think like newer models have a weld to prevent that from smacking the frame, but that's all good for now. But uh, making progress, and that's all I'm going to do for this video. I got some things coming up this week, and uh, I need to tackle that first, but then I'll get back to this project. All right, well, thanks for watching.